Every day there's something new. There are lots of great things for me to do. I'm Caillou. I learn so much through the games I play. And I grow bigger every day. I'm Caillou. I'm just a boy of four who wants to go and explore. How do you do? I'm Caillou. Caillou and Rosie are playing with Rosie's new toy. They are having lots of fun. Lots of noisy fun. Every time Rosie pushes a key, the toy makes an animal sound. Rosie, stop what they are doing. Caillou, I need to lie down. Can you be a good big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Mommy brings a couple of markers and two big pieces of paper. You and Rosie can draw pictures of the animals instead of listening to the sounds they make. I need you to play quietly so I can rest. Okay. Caillou wants to help Mommy. He wants to be a good big brother. Caillou hands Rosie a marker. We're going to draw now. Caillou starts drawing a giraffe. He works so hard on his picture that he doesn't notice that Rosie is not drawing beside him. Caillou looks around to see where Rosie went. Oh no! Rosie is drawing on the wall! Rosie, no! Caillou grabs the marker away from Rosie. Oh, no! No, mine! <laughs> Rosie tries to get the marker back, but Caillou holds on to it. Rosie starts to cry. get mad? <laughs> Mommy hears all the noise. Caillou, I asked you to be a good big brother and watch Rosie, not fight with her. Rosie needs her nap. I'll be right back. Caillou is surprised. Why is Mommy angry with him? He did his best to be quiet and to keep Rosie from doing anything wrong. He doesn't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. <laughs> when Mommy comes back, Caillou is crying. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy go to the kitchen and fill a bucket with soap and water. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Can I help? That would be great, Caillou. Caillou cleans the wall with a wet cloth. He rubs hard until all the marks are gone. Good job, Caillou. Thank you. Rosie has finished her nap and she wants Caillou to play with her. Okay, Rosie. <laughs> Caillou, you are becoming such a big boy and you are such a good brother to Rosie. Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story. But today is a very special day. 
Hi you, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Hi mm. you thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. <gasps> I know! Caillou draws a big round moon, and all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. Your picture is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? <laughs> you always look nice, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still. When Mommy finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> Is this for me? I drew a moon because I love you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee table. Vroom, vroom. Beep, 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 beep. Whoops! Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. 
That's not you and Grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your Grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your Grandpa and I won. Wow, first prize. Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes, I can win first prize too. Grandma puts on some music. This was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. Caillou <laughs> hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa. That's great! Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. Just then the doorbell rang and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look, I got first prize for dancing! He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. May I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight, he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with the babysitter. The restaurant is full of people. Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Mommy, I can't see any 
anything. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. It's taking so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah! Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. Today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou. They're beautiful. Now come on, time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me and I'll show you and your Teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. 
Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Uh... Linda brushes Caillou's teeth. Then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Uh... Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou hmm. examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time. Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal! We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picked up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Gilbert, where are you going? Silly cat. Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. Can we make a snowman? Yes, Caillou, but we have to go to the market first. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies off the shelf. These are good. We're having special surprise cake, so we don't need cookies too. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Mm.
He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou? Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy? There she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Mommy, I was lost. I know, Caillou, but you're home now, and it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Hmm. Caillou and Rosie decorate it with candy. The special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman.